Hi everyone and welcome to the Sunday Weekend Shave and as I ask every video how has your week been? How's your weekend going? Um, and how are you personally? I hope you're okay. Um, bit of a, a step up with the old razor today. I'm going to use the, the Mule R41 known as an aggressive razor. It doesn't look, it looks like a, well it is, it's a semi open comb, it's not a full open comb. Um, doesn't look, you might think, looking at that, oh, Edwin Jagger, no chance. Aggressive razor. Uh, nothing to be scared of if you respect the fact it is aggressive. And go gently with it. Three piece razor, non adjustable, excellent, very, very slight overhang on the blade. Um, but one of the good, one of the best razors for lack of overhang. Um, and I'm going to show you what blade I'm using. I'm using an Astra Superior Platinum. And that is a green blade. And it's been used once. And Astra, it's a good blade. And I'm, I'm not sure if I've used it in an R41 before. I'm going to see what, it, see what happens. Because I'm using that, I'm going to use a pre-soap today, which is the Musco Real. Musco Real. See? And... Oh, this is the scent of this. Whew. Anyway, before all that, have a look at these. Some tiny little flowers here, colour. I don't know if you can see them from there, so let's have a closer. And while you're looking at that, um, nice flowers. I'm lathering up and using another um, classic and one I used to use a lot of few years ago and I must use more and that is well firstly the big shave shaving scuttle this is the first one as I say there the big shave um, Steve Farragher and I'm using the Omega ball brush the yellow is a good stiff knot and what if you can see in there there's a let's see that little thin slice it's been in there for well over a year of Arco and uh, I always take that out what's left of it and dry it and then put it back in there's good ridges on this on this lather bowl if you can see them good oh, help if I show them there see the lines there that aids in putting oxygen and air into the lather to make it creamy now I've been lathering this for five minutes before ca the camera went on so um we should be good to go. I've got no warm water in it because it's not winter time yet. That's, that's my treat before the winter. That. Anyway, how am I going to do a pre I Normally, under water and have a good wash, but I'm going to do it like this today, just for a change. Oh, come on, smell that. That is beautiful. This scent is lovely. Orange. Mmm, that's enough. Right, so what do you think of them flowers? Nice? You can never have too much prep. So how's your week been? I hope it's been good. Happy and healthy and... Right, I'm going to leave this as a base. The arco, this will disappear now. I'll just rinse my hands. See, that's a lovely soap. Nice soap to wash with, actually. Yeah, some nice flowers there. Uh, some, some of you I know know the names of them. I'm not even going to embarrass myself. So here we go. I'm using Arco. Classic Arco Shave Stick. And um, what I did was, some people press the whole thing because um, I tend to use this shaving scuttle with Arco. Um, you know, no reason really for it. I've just always associated the scuttle, the big shave, the big shave, Arco, Steve Farragut. And um, I took a slice off it, like a little tablet and um, disc, and then press it in the, in the base. So, Soak it with a bit of hot water and then lather up and this is what you get. 
good stiff knot on this brush so it's, a, it's good for a hard soap and this is a standard soap classic some people don't like the smell some people love it I don't mind it quite like it tip though that pre soap I can smell the like the orange the zesty mmm so there's a tip for you look at that that's how I like it that's how I like shaving soap right rinse that and off we go non adjustable mule R41 aggressive razor here we go Very good. It's nice that this blade's been used once because it's taken the because it's uh, this razor. As I say, to look at it doesn't look that aggressive, and people hype it up. Oh, in the beginning, especially when they come out, that oh, it was a killer, and you know, Freddy Krueger designed it, and all this sort of stuff. But. Uh, it's like anything, it's common sense. You can feel that blade. It's very deceiving actually. Doesn't look a big exposure, but by heck. You can feel that blade. And the biggest question I tend to get when I <laughs> when I use this, I use the Merca Future. And that is, just bear with me. Yeah, you can feel that. Uh, how does it compare? You gotta be quick with this soap as well, because I have it quite pasty. It dries. A bit quick. Um, yeah, how does it compare to the um, Merca Future? How does the Merca Future compare to this? And. Um, in a way, they're uncomparable because they're so different. The Merca Future is its own, um, like the factory made the razor and then threw the mould away. Because um, you don't see any other brand making the Merca Future. You know, you don't look at another razor from, say, Gillette and say, oh, that's based on the future, that. Doesn't happen. Uh, however, Judging on this shave today with this blade, the Merca Future wins hands down in aggression. And you can feel, feel this blade. But it's comfortable, and the reason it's comfortable for me personally is light touch and good prep usually um, welcome to new viewers new subscribers um, welcome to the madhouse really it's a it's a place we meet twice a week and share a smile or two <laughs> bit of fun a good shaving a uh, few ideas maybe. Um, I'm not an expert. I don't see myself as any sort of expert. Um, I'm just sharing my shaves on video really. If people pick any advice, any techniques or any ideas up, products from these videos, what they do with the products when I show different products people get good ideas hopefully. But um, I'm just sharing what I do and I am an expert for me, but I'm not for nobody else. Everybody's so different, so um, just for any of that's for new people. Obviously, those that have been with me for a while will know that uh, it's just a 
to share in something that was a chore many years ago which I hated and now I love and I've got a channel sharing my passion and enjoyment that's a nice combination that blade that is lovely and I tell you what I can still Get that scent from the pre-soak Musco Real. Good combo with the Arco actually, because the Arco is very plain. It's there is a scent. As I say, some people like it, some people don't like it, some people just bear it. Uh, I'm one of those. I associate the smell with Arco. It's Arco. Uh, I don't. I don't dislike it, uh, and I wouldn't right home about it you know it's not the best scent but it's just a basic soap scent but uh, the sort of orangey zesty scent of the musco real is really hinting through there during the shave so that's nice very nice so uh, Chilies, big ruck of chilies um, on the plant, and a lot of them now are ready for picking. I've picked a few. Um, I promised I'll take a little bag full to work. A few, two or three lads there want to try them. Um, anything for nothing. Oh, yeah, I'll have them, I'll have them. Anything. <laughs> No, it's um, it's nice to share them. So hopefully they like them. I tell you what, there's not much left here. Um, and you see, not much lather left. So it's just right. A bit more. Just gonna just put water on the brush. To show you, just get it. It's a good soap pack. Oh, if you lather it right, you've got to keep going. It takes time. Keep going, pumping water, pumping water. How I do it. Get a lather and then pump as well. And what that does, it seems to see that it brings the lather to a line here, and then you can gather that and then remix that. Go back to the little disc you've got. You can put as much as you want in, but I seem to know how much I need without wasting too much. Right. And just for those who love water, I'm going to add a bit of water to this. Watch it explode. And the amber, or the muscorial, the um, orange. Citrus. Um, scent is fading now. But there we go, that's a slightly wetter lather. But it depends, You'll, you can only know what's best, what's the best lather, whether it's a wetter, watery, thin, a thicker, pasty, creamier, by trying it really, and what feels better, you know, if you get really bad irritation using a sort of watery, bubbly lather, try it a bit thicker. Uh, don't be afraid to try things, rise against the growth. And this can be the most painful pass for some. But once you get used to it, this is the most satisfying pass for me. Uh, very light touch as you can hopefully see. That's Alice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That means she either wants food or she wants to play. Uh, she's got a funny meow, sort of like she's been strangled. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, concentrate, Paul. Well. 
seagulls, cats, everything in this video. Like a wildlife, all I'm waiting for now is Sir David Attenborough to come through. That's a man I like watching on TV. And here we have the lesser spotted ginger cat. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Good slickness on Arco. And of course the pre-shave pre soap, you try and say that? Pre-shave soap. Helps a lot, helps a lot. Right, here we go, against the well, not straight away against the growth, I always start sideways. And gradually. Even under the nose. Take the first bit off. And then gradually, gradually, gradually turn. And if you're like me, I said in many videos, if you suffer from the moustache area, because sometimes when you go against the growth and aggressive razor, on the whew, pull and tug, very painful, very dangerous if it jumps, because it will go straight into you. Um, I do have a tendency to overshave my moustache area, because I'm trying to get this perfect. <laughs> smooth finish but I'm not gonna I'll have to sort of train myself to calm down really that's it lovely pickups there's not many I can feel a few but there's not many and this is an um, inexpensive brush soap Free soap, the razor is not expensive, or the blade, and the... yeah, it's fantastic. Right, listen to this now. That's the sound you want. Double chins. Somebody said they're back in, back on Amazon or eBay or both. But they're selling out quickly, so if you haven't got a double chin, head over and get yourself one. Because it comes damned handy when you want to shave down here. Hear that? Right. Listen to this. Very gently. You see, I can see in the camera, but I can't in the mirror. That looks dark, and you'd think, oh, he hasn't taken that off. Like a shadow of the five o'clock, but it is smooth. If you listen, feel. It's just that my hair is dark, so somebody picked up on that on one video. And that is a, oh, just a, it's hard there. Okay, I just rinse and I'm going to use the Allen block today. And I may get some feedback from this because 
using a quite an aggressive wet the allen block uh, using quite an aggressive razor but nothing yet just a tingle then on the chin nothing on the moustache though let's see uh, Right, that'll do there. Rinse that and let that dry. God, this takes all the the um, slickness straight out. Any slickness you had, woof, gone. And another tip people have said in the comments, if you have an Allen block or a styptic pencil, or whatever, rub it on your hands or rub it on the razor handle. It keeps the grip. Good advice that, good tip. And this is where the comments come in. So handy. And thank you again for all the comments. I've read them. I read them. Don't answer all of them. Uh, but I do give a thumbs up under the comment to say I've read it and thank you. So I do appreciate it. Don't think I'm ever taking anything for granted. Um, I'll say it a thousand times. No channel is anything without the viewer, without you. And people take the time, in my case, twice a week. And they're good length videos, because I'm like this going on. And <laughs> twice a week watching them and commenting. So it, I appreciate that. Thank you. Right then, what are we going to use? Arco Action. I haven't used this for a long time. Ooh, <laughs> memory lane here. Hey, eh? <laughs> This might sting. High alcohol in this. Oh no. Not bad, it used to. Uh, sometimes you'd have a shock. Oh, I'm smoked. Hey, come on. That's lovely. Oh, go on then. There you go. I hope you got that. You didn't drop it on your iPad. <laughs> oh no, some oh, the big 60 inch screen. The thought of that, and I know people say to me in the comments, oh, I'm watching you on a, a two mile screen on the. You know what I mean? Massive TV, wall mounted and all that. And the thought of watching myself on on this is bad enough, never mind on the big screen. I suppose we're all the same like that. It's, uh, yeah, anyway, apart from the fluff from the towel, and we're, we're going to use Arco Extra Sensitive. And that was the bottle, by the way. Thank you. Right, Sunday. So that means dinner. Oh, what's for dinner? Well, potatoes, not new potatoes, normal potatoes. Um, boiled. Broccoli. Carrots. Uh, I did peas last week, oh they were fantastic. So I may change it to peas, I don't know yet. <laughs> but let's say broccoli, carrots, or maybe peas, there we go. Um, maybe Yorkshire pudding. I'm gonna do sage and onion stuffing. Roast lamb, the breast of lamb, which is the cheapest bit. It's quite fatty, but a lot of that will um, infuse into the meat, disappear if you like, due to the cooking process which adds to the flavour um, but it's a very tasty uh, part of the lamb really, it's beautiful it is anyway, I'll do that, uh, I'm not gonna, I could stuff the lamb with sage and onion and roll it then roast it but I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna do the sage and onion separately and on top of the lamb I'm gonna have mint sauce which is in a vinegar um, uh, base, really. It's, uh, it's only the shop bought on Coleman uh, mint sauce. I love it. I could make my own, but 
speed and then uh, loads of gravy and I've got some pear cider which I'm going to uh, partake in cleansing the palate during the cooking process ready to demolish the such wonderful meal made by moi mm. so I'm looking oh, this is lovely this I'm looking forward to that just to recap before you go I won't keep you mule mule R41 uh, three piece razor non adjustable aggressive and lovely there's a good grip on it if you keep it soap free keep your hand on that soap free you shouldn't have any bother it doesn't matter if it's wet it's still a good grip or as I say you could use the technique which a few people have suggested in the comments I'll unblock rub it either on the handle on your hands you know rub it on your hands and then you've got a good grip that takes all slickness away um, use the Astra Superior uh, Platinum and used once, fantastic, very smooth, good combination in the R41. It's a good blade in most razors this but it's, a, it's an aggressive, I tend not to use very sharp like feathers and stuff like that in blades, in razors, I'll get it right in a minute, in razors as <laughs> aggressive as this because you don't need it. Unless you want to hack yourself to death if you've got a fetish for pain and blood, we'll go ahead. But uh, otherwise, <laughs> no. Um, Omega ball brush, good hard stiff knot on that. The Big Shave shaving scuttle, no water in it, no need for it. And good classic Arco shaving soap. Um, oh, not forgetting the Musco Real uh, pre shave soap, beautiful, love that stuff. And then we use the Allen Block, obviously, rinsed off Allen Block Arco Action Cologne. And then put the moisture back in the extra sensitive Arco Aftershave Balm. And uh, that's me, lovely. Very nice. Do you want to have a look? See how dark it is? It's because it's dark coloured whiskers. But if you could put your hand to the screen, you would be welcome to feel. Thank you to Mrs H as always and thank you, thank you for being there, uh, as I say I appreciate every one of you and um, it means a lot. So I hope you have a fantastic Sunday what's left of it and a great start to next week when I will see you for the midweek shave yet again and yes his lordship will be appearing um, in the next, well couple of weeks something like that I'm not sure when he has the time um, I'm not sure what he's going to do whether he's just calling in whether he's going to take over I don't know anyway that's all goodness to come so thanks for watching I'll let you go <laughs> I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave take care